Hi there, this is Vadim, and in this video, I would like to get you ready for the employment assessment test. As you might be well aware, organizations nowadays would like to make sure that they hire the most qualified candidate. This is why they use pre-employment hiring exam to make sure a candidate is prepared to succeed on the job. There are various assessment test questions employers use based on the job candidate might be applying for. The examples are IQ and aptitude questions, logical reasoning questions, math reasoning, numerical reasoning, analytical skills questions, and a lot of others. In this video, I am going to share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is the family relationship question which tests your memory and analytical skills. A group of people is gathered for a dinner. Bella is a daughter of George's brother. George's brother is Jack, and Jack's wife is Emily. Emily has other children because Emily is also a mother of Anna. What is the relationship between Anna and Bella? And you're presented with four different relationship choices. Choice A, their nieces. Choice B, their sisters. Choice C, their cousins. And last but not least is choice D, they are friends. Do you know the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The correct answer is choice B, they are sisters. But why? Let's build a diagram to demonstrate the relationships between this group of people. Let's start with the statement that George has a brother, and George's brother is Jack. Jack also has a wife, Emily, and their couple, and Jack and Emily a family couple. We also know is that Bella is the daughter of George's brother, which means Bella is the daughter of Jack and Emily. We also learned that Anna is the daughter of Emily, which means Anna is daughter of Jack and Emily, which means that Bella and Anna are sisters. Do you have a better way to solve this challenge? Please make sure to post in comments. Here is the famous four square triangle question that you frequently see on the test. You are presented with four triangles. In each triangle, there is a smaller triangle which breaks it down into four parts. Each part has a number. And in one small triangle, the number is missing. The first triangle has numbers 3, 2, 11, and number 1 in the middle. The second triangle has numbers 7, 4, 53, and then number 5 in the middle. The third triangle has numbers 11, 6, 127, and number 5 in the middle. And then there is a fourth triangle which has the missing number, but also has numbers 15, 8, and 7. Can you take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer? One tip for you is that you do not need to guess the number, but rather you need to calculate it. And you need to select the calculated number out of four different choices. Choice A, 225. Choice B, 232. Choice C, 233. And then last but not least, choice D, 240. Take a close look to see if you can solve this challenge. Are you ready or not? Regardless, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, to solve this challenge, you need to find the pattern. And the pattern is that if you add the middle number and the top number inside the small triangles, then put them into the bottom left corner of the triangle, and then square the bottom left corner number and add the top number. Seems a little complicated, and it is. The best way to understand it is to look at the example. Let's look at the first triangle. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 square equals 9. And 9 plus 2 equals equals 11. Armed with this information, let's find the missing number. First, let's add 8 plus 7, top and the middle numbers. 8 plus 7 equals 15. And you can confirm this calculation by looking at 15 in the bottom left corner of the triangle. 15 square equals 225. And then based on this information, to find the missing number, we need to add 8, which is the number in the top of the triangle, plus 255, which is the calculated number, 
so the final number will be 233. Now let me share with you some tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges. You see that the triangles are of a different color, and colors here are only to confuse you. There is no other reasons the colors should be there, so you can completely ignore them. Another trick might be, typically when you look at these types of challenges, you limit your calculations to just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers. Keep in mind that there is always a possibility of square numbers and then square root of the number. And it's good to remember squares of particular numbers, probably up to 20. This way you can manipulate them in your head without using the calculator. Do you have any other tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges? Please make sure to share in comments so we can all learn. I get a lot of questions on how assessment tests are used in the hiring process. I would like to highlight three important areas companies use assessment tests. They use them for hiring and employment decisions. For example, hiring manager or HR might choose to test the candidate before hiring them to ensure candidate is a good fit for the position. Second way to use it is grow talent inside the organization. For example, some companies use the test before making hiring decisions to promote the candidate. And last but not least, the third way to use it is to determine levels of motivation. For example, if your company is looking to implement a new system or technology, it might be helpful to assess people on their interests and motivation related to this technology. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's the analytical skills and pattern recognition question, which might trick you to the wrong answer. You're presented with very unusual looking shape, which has multiple boxes and numbers inside the boxes. You need to calculate the missing number, which is represented by the question mark in the middle of the box. You have four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I would give yourself maybe 20 to 30 seconds, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct answer. Did you figure it out? Let's continue and I'll share with you my version of the solution of this problem. And I'll also share with you some tips and tricks and caveats that question designers introduced here in this particular question. Detecting the pattern in this question is tricky, but not impossible. And the reason is because question designers used some tricks to confuse you. The correct pattern is that the middle number in each row is equal to the half of the sum of other numbers in the respective row. Let's look at the example in the first row. Number 3 in the middle in the yellow box is calculated as 4 plus 2, which is 6, divided by 2. The end result equals 3. Same way, result is calculated in the second row from the top. 5 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 10, and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And you see 5 in the middle in the green box. Which means that the middle row can be calculated as sum of all the numbers divided by 2. 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 equals 16. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So the correct answer here is choice D, 8. Let's look at some tricks that question designers introduced in this particular question to confuse you. You can see that the boxes here have different colors. You see blue boxes, you have yellow boxes, you have green boxes. None of this matters because it contributes nothing to the pattern calculations. You also see that some numbers here are of a different color. For example, all numbers in the yellow boxes are black. All other numbers in the blue and green boxes are white. This is the similar trick which contributes nothing to the pattern detection. Did you see any other tricky features that might have confused you? Please make sure to share in comments. As you might be well aware, one of the fastest way to get ready for the test is by practicing. And learning by practicing helps you understand key patterns used in the test to be prepared to anticipate different questions. There are only a limited number of patterns that can be used in the test, and you can learn about all of them by using ebooks for your practice. If you are in a rush and need to get for your test faster, please make sure to check out available resources at howtoanalyzedata.net. Our team of experts created this training materials based on the years of research and they kept up to date with the questions employers use on the current assessment tests. Thanks for your endorsement, support and patronage. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. 
Here's an amazing question where you need to find the missing values. Missing values are represented by the question mark and are located on the outside and inside the star. Star is hosted inside the diamond. And this combined figure has numbers around it. For example, number 7 is at 11 o'clock. Number 28 at 1 o'clock. Then comes the missing number at 5 o'clock. And then there is a number 448 at 8 o'clock. In the center of the combined shape, there is also a missing number represented by the question mark. You have four different choices for the final value. Choice A, 98 and 1521. Choice B, 76 and 1629. Choice C, 101 and 1829. And last but not least, choice D, 112 and 1792. Take a close look at the shape to see if you can replace question marks with the correct value. Are you ready? I am on my end moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If problem seems very unusual for you, the problem of solving it is very typical. You need to look for patterns. And the pattern here is that the next value calculated as a previous value multiplied by 4. Values increment clockwise starting at 11 o'clock. And the missing value in the middle of the star is calculated last. Let's use the formula to calculate the missing value. First value at 11 o'clock is 7. Next value is 28, which is calculated as 7 multiplied by 4. Then we come to the first missing value at 5 o'clock. And missing value is calculated as 28 multiplied by 4, which equals 112. Next value at 8 o'clock is 112 multiplied by 4, which equals 448. And then the missing value in the center of the star is 448 multiplied by 4, which equals 1792. So the correct answer here is choice D, 112 and 1792. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now here's the question for you to practice your skills. You need to determine the relationship between Anna and Bella. A group of people is gathered for a dinner. Bella is the daughter of George's brother. George's brother is Jack and Jack's wife is Emily. Emily has other children because Emily is the mother of Anna. So what is the relationship between Anna and Bella? They are nieces. This is the choice A. Choice B. They are sisters. Choice C. They are cousins. And choice D. That they are just friends. Do you know the answer? Take a close look, maybe pause this video, and once you solved it, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here is an amazing question which truly tests your analytical skills. You are presented with four sets of 3x3 three three matrices. Each matrix has nine numbers. And in matrix 4, there are three missing numbers that you need to calculate. You are presented with four different choices. Choice A, missing numbers might be 54, 68 and 105. Choice B, missing numbers might be 55, 78 and 97. Choice C is represented by the numbers 69, 80 and 115. And then choice D is 74, 88 and 125. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds by pausing this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And as usual, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think it's very obvious and you probably recognize the pattern that's happening here. Numbers are calculated based on the formula. If we break down the matrix into columns A, B and C, and then add numbers to the rows 1, 2 and 3, the formula can be summarized as B1 is calculated as A1 multiplied by 3 and C1 is calculated as B1 minus 4. So to calculate the missing numbers in row 1, we need to multiply 18 by 3, which would equal 54, and then 54 minus 4 equals 50. For row 2, the calculations will be 24 multiplied by 3 
equals 72, and then 72 minus 4 equals 68. And last but not least, row 3 is calculated as 35 multiplied by 3 equals 105, and 105 minus 4 equals 101. So the correct answer is choice A, 54, 68, and 105. Here's the practice question for you to test your skills and knowledge. In this question, I am not going to share with you the solution, but instead I am going to ask you to solve this challenge on your own and post your answer in comments. This way I can give you my feedback. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing value. Missing value is represented by the question mark in a shape that contains numbers around the shape as well as one number inside. The numbers you see are 12, 42, 129, and then there is a number 3 in the middle. You have four different choices to choose from. Choice A, 229. Choice B, 287. Choice C, 352. And then choice D, 390. Take a close look to see if you can recognize the pattern and solve this challenge. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question to test your business math skills. You're presented with the set of numbers in the compass-like figure. And you need to add up all the numbers inside the shapes and then divide the sum by 2. You need to calculate what would be the result of this calculation. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 24. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video and give yourself 10 to 20 seconds to do the calculations. I am pretty sure you figured it out, so I am moving forward to share with you my version and obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The math here is pretty straightforward. You need to do 7 minus 3 plus 9 plus 5 in parentheses and then divide the sum by 2. The result would be 18 divided by 2, which would be equal to 9. And this is my choice for the correct answer. What's interesting about this question is that there's a lot of way to get to the incorrect answer. For example, if you forget to divide by 2, there is an answer for that. Also, if you don't see the negative number and forget to divide by 2, there is a choice for that as well. And if you just forget the negative number, there is a choice for that as well. Which tells me that you have to read the instructions carefully. Hopefully you're one of those people who does it all the time and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I have a question for you to test your skills. You're presented with the series of objects and you need to determine next object in the sequence. Please choose one of the following four choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Do you see the correct answer? Please make sure to post your version in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's a very interesting question to test your spatial reasoning. You are presented with partial square and you need to find the missing shape to build the full square. You have four different choices to choose from to complete the square. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you the correct solution. As you might have figured out, the correct choice here is choice D. And to get to this answer, you need to look at the shape which fits perfectly to match the edges. Since this is the 5x5 five five square, choice D is the perfect shape because it matches perfectly to create a full square. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is one of very interesting questions to test your analytical skills. You're presented with three ratios, 63 to 369, 47 is to 7411, and then you have a third ratio where 86 is related to question mark. And you need to determine the question mark based on the four different choices. Choice A, 86.13. Choice B, 
8611. Choice C, 6813. And then choice D, 6814. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I can't wait and I'm moving forward to reveal the final solution to you. As usual, my advice to you, to solve this and other similar types of challenges, you need to look for patterns. And the pattern here is that AB is related to BA plus B plus A. So you need to reverse the digits and add together the digits to obtain the final digits. Let's look at the sample. So 63 is related to 369. So what we did here, we swapped 3 and 6, making 3 the first digit, 6 the second digit, and then we added 3 plus 6, and end result of this is 9. We came up with the second ratio in a similar way. 47 is related to 74, where we swapped the digits, concatenated with the sum of 7 and 4, which is 11. So to get to the correct solution for 86, we need to swap 6 and 8, and then add 8 plus 6, which equals 14. So the correct answer here is choice D, 6814. Hopefully you've nailed this question, enjoyed this solution, and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.